Florida's governor is giving SunPass holders more time to pay their late bills. But some drivers are telling ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers they're not paying up until they get transparency about how much they owe. One St. Pete Beach man says he's got hundreds of dollars in unresolved tolls, but it's not for lack of trying. He showed up at this Pinellas County office to try to resolve things and still doesn't have any answers. It's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. He's got a stack of toll by plate bills and Walter Urshus's sun pass works just fine. I'm worried about when I go over there and get arrested because I've got all these. They're going to look and go, oh, gosh, you got 150 some odd toll violations. 150 bills, Ursha says he's been overcharged for. And yeah, hours on the phone, even in line in person, SunPass can't fix his problem. Like some of them are $1.95, which like some of them are supposed to be like 80 cents. Ursha is supposed to get a discount traveling to Orlando to see his daughter using a SunPass transponder. But for months, his SunPass didn't register with the Central Florida Expressway Authority. I don't have a problem paying paying the express authority over there, but um, I want to be charged the right amount. Drivers across the state are getting slapped with bills delayed from last year, and the governor is giving drivers another grace period until June 1st to pay them. Blasting contractor conduit saying this is a technology issue, but it's a customer service issue. But without transparency from SunPass, Ursha says he's not paying anything. And I can't imagine how many people have already just paid this and given up. In St. Pete Beach, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.